Welcome to Talada's Kitchen. I Chef Pal today will be showing you a mouth-watering recipe named Masala Pao. Mumbai city is famous for its chatpata stuff. Whether it's pani puri, bel puri, pao bhaji or masala pao, it is loved by one and all. You'll see how easy and simple this recipe is and it tastes delicious. So let's begin. We'll heat butter. We'll allow it to melt. Masala pao means a lot of masalas. It has to be very masaladar. So the pao bhaji masala, chili powder, everything will be more. Do not allow the butter to melt too much. It will give that burnt taste. Now we'll add the cumin seeds. We'll allow them to crackle. Now we'll add the chili garlic paste. This is readily available in the market or you can also make it. To make it, you have to soak red Kashmiri chilies in hot water for 30 minutes and then blend it in a mixer with garlic cloves to a smooth paste. This gives the color. The red color that you get outside comes with a chili garlic paste. We'll add the finely chopped onions, capsicum, We'll mix well and we'll allow it to cook for at least 5 to 7 minutes till the onion and capsicum are a little soft. We'll add little water and we'll allow it to cook. Make sure you keep stirring in between otherwise the onions will start sticking to the pan. If you feel that the mixture is getting a little dry, you can add a little water. But do not add too much because later we are going to add tomatoes and some water. And as you know, tomato releases water. Uh, onion and capsicum have been cooked well. So let's add our tomatoes. We'll add some salt. We'll add little chilli powder. We'll add some pav bhaji masala, a very important ingredient. And water. And we'll allow this to cook for 10 to 12 minutes till the tomatoes are nice, soft and juicy. When you allow it to cook for 10 to 12 minutes, make sure you keep stirring in between. And very lightly we will mash it, very lightly and very little. That's it. Do not mash it too much, we are not making a pav bhaji. It's really smelling very yummy. Our tomatoes have been cooked. Now let's add the coriander. We'll mix it well. Cook for one minute. No pav bhaji or masala pav is complete without lemon juice. So let's add some lemon juice. And we'll mix well. So now our mixture is ready. Let's start making the masala pav. So we'll heat very little butter. Always take a tawa like this. We'll allow it to slightly melt. We'll put very little bhaji. I'm showing you for one pav. And just lightly saute it. Then take a pav and put it upside down. Put some bhaji over it and fold it again. and put the remaining bhaji again. We might need some more bhaji. It has to cover all the sides. Remember that. Otherwise, it will be dry. So our one masala pav is ready. So now let's serve. Our masala pav is ready. Enjoy it hot with lemon. Download the Tarla Dalal app on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at tarladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.